In this video, I'm going to show you the simple uh, basics of Soundtrap, an online DAW digital audio workstation that uh, I recently discovered. Um, I think it's pretty well implemented and has a lot of potential uh, for producing music of various uh, sorts. So anyway, um, we have uh, what key are we in down here? Say I'm going to do a project in the key of C major. Uh, metronome, I'm going to leave it at 120. Um, the tempo that is, and there's a metronome. Uh, right now I'm going to leave it off, uh, but it would provide a click. Um, first thing I'm going to do is put a, a, a um, drum loop in. So let me just choose one of the first drum loops here. You can audition the loop. Okay, and that sounds like a you know, half decent loop. So I'm just going to drag that over here to measure one. And um, very much like in GarageBand and other um, uh, client-based DAWs, I'm going to just loop it out um, just by dragging. Uh, let's go for uh, 24 measures. Okay, and then um, on top of this, uh, by the way, let me show you that when I, there's transport controls down here, hit the play button, and there is the drums. Um, in the next track, I'm going to put a bass line. Now for this one, I'm going to do something kind of cool. I'm going to click on add track. Um, I'm going to use uh, a MIDI device, um, and that is I have a, a small uh, external USB MIDI keyboard hooked up to my laptop that I'm using right now. And because I do, I'm actually able to play that uh, keyboard and have it trigger online these virtual instruments. So I think that's pretty cool. That's something that's uh, more recent. By the way, if you want to uh, enable that in Chrome, uh, go to um, this web address here and um, you'll be able to um, enable the web MIDI uh, API. And that's something that uh, Soundtrap will prompt you to do, but if it doesn't, that, that's how you do it. Anyway, uh, let me go back and uh, I'm going to record a bass. Um, so let me uh, enable record enable the track that's over here, the record button. Um, rewind to the beginning and hit record. Three, four, five, six, seven, And I could go on and on, but I'm just going to, since I can loop, I'm going to just stop it right there. Um, after that four measure introduction, I'm going to put a split, and that would be an edit uh, split. And, oops, sorry, I put the split in the wrong track. It uh, doesn't matter. Um, I can undo that. Uh, Command Z will, will undo it. Uh, I chose the wrong. I needed to ch uh, choose this track. Um, anyway, so uh, let me put the split in there. All right. And then this. Um, I can I can loop out now uh, for the rest of the piece, okay, or at least for a lot of it. Now uh, let's see what that sounds like. Go back to the beginning. Uh, drop the first note there. Okay, so um, what I wanted to do actually, because that that one measure we uh, sort of dropped. Um, the very first note is, um, I'm going to try to see if I can draw in. I've uh, never even done this yet, but there must be a way to draw in notes. So in uh, real time, I'm going to figure this out. Um, I'm going to press the Option key. Does that give it to me? Command key. Ah, okay. So just by um, Command clicking, you can get uh, a note. And I'm going to drag that note on the downbeat. Go back out to um, click that X there. And go back out to the uh, the regular track, and now let's hear what measure five sounds like. Yeah, so I was able to actually edit that MIDI data. Okay, you get the idea. And uh, maybe I think this is a little loud, so I'll pull it back. All right, now uh, and for my next track, I'm going to put some uh, chords. I'm going to again use um, a sound trap instrument. Um, uh, we were just doing a bass line, so I think I'll put um, a synth pad. Uh, Maybe that. Maybe that. Hmm. Huh. There's a lot of options here. Um, loading the sound here. Okay, I think I like one of these uh, pads. Hold on, going back to. Oh, so we'll use that. It's it's a. Eh, let's use the loose. 
There we go. That's fine. Uh, by the way, you can tweak all of these sounds. It's basically a synth engine, but I'm going to just take it out of the box and record it. So here we go. One, five, six, seven, eight. After the introduction, I'll bring in the chords. And I could have, um, uh, I could have just looped that. But uh, also, before too long, um, I should hit the save button. The thing is, uh, knowing my internet connection, when I hit the save button, uh, it'll take a while. So I'm going to, for right now, uh, skip that. But you, you would want to save as you go. All right. So we've got that. Now, last thing I'm going to show you. It's pretty cool. Is uh, let's go ahead and hook up a microphone. Um, so vocal. And um, I'm going to use, uh, I have a USB uh, snowball mic attached uh, here. So that's the, the mic I'm going to use. Um, there are some presets for um, you know, how, how the sound will be processed, depending on what it is that you're recording. Let me go back to church and use that one um, as my preset and record enable it. And now you actually hear the church. Um, uh, effects with a lot of reverb, but for instance, uh, one of the other effects is blues or garage or space face. So actually, maybe I want to use that garage one, and I'm just going to read some random text. Actually, what I'm going to read is an advertisement for a, a workshop that I'm doing, and uh, we'll record this. So let's go back here. This is just the introduction, I'll cut it out. Here we go. Blended learning involves using online resources to maximize face-to-face -face learning opportunities. Discover how video tutorials, podcasts, use of wikis, and more can augment and strengthen your classroom, elective, and ensemble music making. Okay, so that... It's just filler, you know, it's just reading, but it could have been me singing or it could have been me playing flute or any other thing. Let's go back to the editor and cut out. Uh, first of all, we don't need to monitor that. Let me go back to the editor and cut that out. So um, split. And let's get rid of that. And let's hear how it sounds. Blended learning involves using online resources to maximize face to face face-to-face -face learning opportunities. Discover how to maximize face-to-face -face learning. So if I wanted to later on, I can always go back and um, change the, um, the effects. So for instance, I had garage, say I want to do that, space face, and let's go back and hear what that sounds like um, in the editor. Blended learning involves using online resources to maximize face-to-face -face learning opportunities. Discover how to tutorials, trying to turn podcasts, down. Yeah, and let's turn down the volume here a little bit and turn down the keyboard and turn down the drums. Okay. Also, if I wanted to put the vocals up at the top, I can rearrange my tracks like that. So there are so many cool things you can do with um, Soundtrap. And um, last thing I'm going to show you, which I haven't explored, but I don't think it would be too hard, is I could um, invite a friend. Uh, here's my friend Amy Burns. I could send her an invite and say, hey, Amy, would you like to join my project? And um, she could then also contribute uh, and, and add loops. Maybe she'd do the next section, and then I'd do the final section. Uh, we could video chat while we were uh, working on it as well, or we could um, use the chat feature over here. So a lot of cool stuff we could do with Soundtrap.